Corey with the customer education team here at Comment Sold. And in this video, I want to walk you through how you can add a new product in Comment Sold. Let's go. Products are the items you wish to sell to your customers through your web store, live sales, and or your mobile app. But before you can sell a product, you need to set it up in Comment Sold. Here we are on our Comment Sold dashboard, and we're going to select products in the side menu. To add a new product, we're going to head over to the right side of the page and select Add Product. This is where you'll create your product record. It consists of three different screens. The first being your product details, the second being any media or pictures you wish to publish with your product, and the third is your inventory levels and variants. We'll walk through each. So the first thing we'll want to do is we'll want to enter details for our product. In the general info section on the left-hand side of the page, you can enter basic information about the product, such as its name, its cost to you from the wholesaler, the retail price or the price you are asking your customers to pay, a description of the product, which will appear on the product page on both your web store and your mobile app, and any internal notes. A quick note, any field that you see that shows an eye icon are fields that are not visible to your shoppers, meaning shoppers will never see what your cost is for the product from your wholesaler. Give me a second to fill these out. Moving on. At the bottom of the left hand side of your page is the SKU and brand info. So here you'll enter the specific SKU for the product, choose the brand and the brand style. While both of these are optional, the brand is a really important dropdown because you can later pull reporting on the sales by brand. This would allow you to see whether or not a brand is popular with your shoppers or if a brand has a particular high rate of return. Now we'll head to the top right corner of the product record. Here you'll enter more details. Here you'll enter variant information for the product, such as the size and colors available. You can also select whether or not to charge taxes on this product if the product can be customized with a monogram, and whether you have received all variants from the vendor. Once you have entered your variant information, you can scroll on down to additional options. Now there is a setting in Comments Sold that allows you to generate automatic product snippets for products from a live sale. Essentially, Comments Sold is going to pull the few seconds in which you feature and talk about the product and add it to the media of the product record so that shoppers can view it at a later date. If you ever enter a product that you want to exclude from those automatic video snippets, then you'll simply want to select the checkbox for exclude this product from automatic product videos from live sale. Next, you'll want to add the product to a collection. This makes it easier for your shoppers to locate the item. For example, if they're looking for shoes or sandals, they'll know to go to your shoes collection to see what options you offer. Your next section is for your web store. The most important here is this checkbox to publish this product. You can create and add products to comment sold ahead of publishing them live on your web store. If you have this checkbox selected, then the items will appear on your web store for your shoppers to purchase. The last is going to be your notifications section. So when you feature this product in a Facebook post or on your mobile app, you can customize the notification message that will send to shoppers when you post that product. Once you've completed the product details page, you'll select add product in the top right corner. Now we're on the edit media page where you can upload images of the product so that shoppers can see what it looks like. Now you have the option to drag and drop an image into the browser window, or you can choose the upload image button to look at that image on your device. Once you're finished uploading images, select edit inventory at the top of the page. On this page, you will see a breakdown of all of the variant combinations that you offer. And from this page, you can make changes to your inventory in bulk or for specific variants. For example, if I wanted to add a new color variant, I would select the plus icon beside color and the same for size. I can also choose to add or remove stock for the various variants. Selecting that option here at the top of the column will apply the changes to every single variant listed. Or I can adjust the inventory for a specific variant by selecting the plus or minus icon on the individual variant row. If I have received all of my variants, I can select the topmost checkbox in the variant received column to select all of my variants checkbox. However, if I haven't received all of my variants, I can deselect this checkbox to then go in and individually select the variants that I have received. 
Weight is a crucial detail to enter for a product because you won't be able to calculate shipping costs without it. If all of the variants are weighted the same, you can enter the weight at the topmost row to apply that change to all variants, or you can go in and individually enter the weight for each individual variant. These remaining fields for cost, retail price, and sale price are fields that you will use when you are managing the product later down the line. You don't need to worry about them while setting up the product. Once done, scroll to the top of the page and select Update Variants. If you have any questions about adding a new product in Comments Sold, we recommend you check out the Add New Products to Comments Sold article in our Help Center for a detailed list and description for all of the fields contained on a product record. You also have the option to reach out to our Comments Sold support team by selecting the blue support icon in the bottom right corner of your Comments Sold dashboard. Happy selling!